welcome. So like me, I'm sure there are plenty of new players who have wanted to try Skywars trapping before. Maybe you've seen a Bitzel video or an ITMG video and just like really wanted to trap people. You thought it'd be super cool. Maybe you saw old Fruit Berries videos, but whatever it is, the, there's just one like big problem now. People don't fall for these traps anymore. Everyone is like super cautious and if there's anything that's remotely sketchy, no one ever falls for it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this mini series of two or three videos, I'm going to be going over overpowered Skywars traps that people still fall for pretty consistently today. If you want me to make more of these, please drop a comment and a like so we can get this video boosted in the algorithm. It helps a whole lot to leave any comment and just take two seconds to like the video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's jump right into it. map sucks for it all right so <laughs> we are going to be doing the first game as an entire uncut game just so that you guys can see that this trap works so well i bet you it'll work in this first game i can even uncut it if this is how it works i'll leave it uncut but this works so incredibly well and hopefully we can get this so the trap that i am talking about is the house trap I first saw this in a Bitzel video, and that's where I decided to try it. This is going to be tougher though because of this guy. We'll get rid of him. He'll blow up all of this. That guy's sweaty. We got him too. Perfect. <laughs> Hacker hack. Love it. So, this trap. One part of the beauty of it is how easy it is to do. All you need is a piston there facing that way and a hole on the other side. I'll make a more detailed tutorial of this soon-ish, but that's all you basically need. Drop the original block back in. Now, you need to get a crafting table and you need to make a pressure plate and a door. Those are the two other things you need. Now, all you have to do is make the outline of a house and drop that door and pressure plate there. When the player comes through the door, the pressure plate causes the piston to shove the block over and they're gonna fall. He's heading right here. Goodbye, sir. So, there are some better ways to do this trap and some other things that you can add that greatly increase your chance of success. One of which is signs. If you put some signs outside that say stuff like, like, oh, this is what I always do. I say, welcome, no E, wrong to my house. So, calculated spelling mistakes here. Please wipe wrong your feet. And then on this side, I just make a happy face. And then, this is one of the biggest parts. When somebody does actually come along, you just have to act like you don't know they're there. By doing this, they'll like have a false sense of confidence and they'll run through the door thinking they can kill you easily. That's the biggest part, is never acknowledge that somebody is actually at the house. This is a pretty poorly made house. Usually I'd make it here, but I didn't this time just because it's gone. But anyway, this person is just getting stuff. Let them take as much time as they need. And the reason this trap works so good on every player is I just look like a terrible player making a house. It happens often. So many times people just make these houses. He says a nice house. Thanks. I made it myself. All of these spelling mistakes are extremely calculated. If you make too many spelling mistakes, they know that you're faking it. 
but if you don't make that many, They can just go over the top. Sometimes you have to engage in conversation. And works like a charm. I promise you, I'll keep everything uncut. It works every single time. It's such a good trap. No one ever expect, <laughs> and this guy is so stoked about it too. This is by far the coolest trap I've ever seen. Uh, it works probably 80% of the time, it takes no time at all to set up, and it looks really inconspicuous. This is an incredibly cool trap. Right. For this trap though, you are going to need the engineer kit. So, uh, kits and perks. I, I play normal, if you want to play insane, that's your call. Uh, but you want to get the enter engineer kit here, and all you really need is the piston. I'm gonna show everyone how to build it and why it works now. All right, so the reason this works is pretty simple. Um, the piston is facing this way, the block is here, and of course all of this is covered up and the door is right here. So the really important part is that you have to place the door inside the house. This is something I didn't mention earlier, but I really should is that, um, god, this is such a bad house. You have to place the door on the block inside the house here so that you can place the pressure plate there. Now, the reason the trap works is that when you step on this pressure plate, this block gets shoved to the side. But then, the pressure plate that was powering the piston gets destroyed because the block moved, which means the piston goes back because it doesn't have any power. So by keeping this all blocked up, they think they're just going to go inside, and that's what the pressure plate's for, but it actually just drops them right in the void. In that first game that I played, I did it on the map where the floor was only one block, so they fell right into the void, but in the case of you not having a one block floor and it's actually going through the island, you simply just make a little tunnel all the way down, and you just put buttons all along it so they can't block clutch. It doesn't take that much time. The outcome is always going to be the same anyway. It just means they can't place blocks anywhere because the buttons are occupying the slot. And you'll see that on some of my clips and replays. This is like one week after I recorded the first Uncut game, and I'm just going to do another real quick to show you how good the trap still is. All right, let's do the trap. We already have half a house set up here. Stone pick, you hate to see it. <laughs> Rest in peace to that Alex. Another stone pick, looks like we're taking an L on this one. So, let's dig out the start of the trap. Up, let's put the piston down, leave this space empty, and bang! Let's get the doors ready. Some stone, so we look terrible. All right, main house is ready. Let's do some poorly made signs. We have two people left, and they're both very sweaty. We have one person left, and he's super sweaty. We 
said I love it. He came on in. We're gonna try and run out. He fell in it! No way! No way! That was so good! What? That was the best uncut game I possibly could have had. It failed, and we still got him. <laughs> ah, okay, that was pretty nuts. I might have to make some cinematics of that. But yeah, there's another quick little uncut game just to show you how OP it is. Thank you for watching the whole video. This was one of the most fun videos I've ever made. I really, really enjoy this trap. It's super fun, and I hate setting up really complicated traps for like five or ten minutes just for them to fail it feels really bad so i really hope this helped somebody this trap is super super fun to use and uh yeah if you enjoyed subscribe i'll make one or two more of these i think with other cool trap ideas i have and that i've heard about uh but yeah until then thank you for watching yeah, I'm in my zone, yeah.